Hi, this is Oliver from Token Hobby. Here is a surprise from Kabalit. This box inside is brand new and the first time I see. I have not seen it yet and I hope it will surprise us all. This is the K364 from Kabalit and we all seen before K3361 and 62. This one we will see Cod3 XO. How is it? All the functions. Not sure yet, we will see after we unbox and assemble the parts running it. There are many our customers love Kabalit because they got good quality and a good price. I have to let it down to slip it out. Okay, because it's not easy to take it out, I put it down and uh, to pull it out. Let's see, here is the handle, this should be up upside. Yeah, this one got around the paper, let's open to see. Around, let's see what is inside here. Okay, first. This is the radio. That's the tools for maintenance. To put my hand on the chassis so not to break the plastic cabin. Okay, it's out. So this one got three axles. We will put the box away. Lose the traps. Okay, this one is a charger. Well, this hydraulic oil cannot be sent by airplane, so this not included in the package. One battery. Not the right in that, maybe it's a lipo, later we will check it out. Light fans, charger, oil syringe, no, this battery also not include, cannot send two kind of batteries, only this one. The horn, these are the tools, another a pair of horn, so these are the tools for maintenance. That's all. This one, uh, it's a mirror, side mirror from a window. That's all in the package. So everything is out of the box and uh, I only put this horn on the top of the cabin. So others it's all ready and uh, let's start to run it to see what kind of functions it got. So as you see some, it's got dirty on the tire and uh, some paint off because this one is a sample from a Kabulet factory. They just developed it and the testing in outside and uh, we got it to see and to show you how the function is, how is it working. So let's see, open the cabin, this, so these parts we will leave it inside. Open the cabin, put battery. Put the wires inside and press down, lock it. So the radio, the control system should be almost the same to the K3362 as we shown in the before the videos. And we have played the old version, basic version, K3361, K3362. So this one, K3364. Let's see the functions. Let's, uh, nothing. Uh, some moving is some servo should be some lock. Uh, this is a differential lock. This I don't know. So uh, let's see one by one. It's nothing it should be volume or something. This is the sound system. 
hot. There's nothing. This should be tiny. Yeah, this is a tiny. This is a hydraulic. Uh, this is the forward, backward, the, the gear control. Strange, we will see. Also, from the radio, we can go to the menu to see the uh, this one in Chinese should change back. Let I will show you <laughs> anyway. I, I can so this is the channel control. You can see from here, uh, go back, not this one. Channel control, let's go inside. So this is channel 1, channel 2, channel 2 is the pump, channel 2, channel 4 is for the forward backward changing, forward is channel 3, go forward, drive and start the driving motor, this one, channel 9 for the sound system, now have channel 10. So, only channel 9, no more. So, go back. Let's explore. This is also nothing. Ah, this is the volume. Very low and increased. Okay, so basically I understand this one. So, almost same to K series 362. Let's start controlling it. So, and this start it. We will Increase a little bit the volume so we can hear talking. Let's see, this is the pump. Mix control, so every time you want to lift up the bucket, the, the pump will directly start. This another way down. Okay, let's start the functions again. So here got the light. Now we know what it got. Light is on. So this is for the engine sound, sound off, this forward is the horn, push back and push the middle again, engine sound start, and this decrease the volume so we can hear talking. Okay. This is the different differential lock, this is for the speed control, this got two speed, two speed transmission gearbox. Okay, let's start. So, like this, this is the back warning sound. It is driving backward. So every time after when you drive backward, also it left side is changing to back side backward. So you driving also push forward. So after you stop, you need to brake, fully brake it. Then you can change to go forward. Turning right, turn right, it's go forward. Then you start. So let's start going. Okay, and the brake a little will slow down. Let's slow down. And brake stop. That's the function. Okay, let's move it back. Already brake, fully brake, and you hear the sound, and then change it to backward. Yeah. Fast and slow down. Yeah. Brake a little, slow down, and brake a lot, you stop it. Already put breath, so now we can change to forward, turning. Yes. So I hear some noisy. That uh, we will turn over to check because this one they already running outside on the rocks on the road. So some functions parts maybe need to adjust. Maybe somewhere touching. This is a sample, not the new one. Yeah. Hope you understand. Will be something need to adjust because. Testing is so long time outside, outdoors. Go forward, let's see. Start. Right. Okay, it's a small table. Go change back forward. Move. Okay, so I will stop it. This time. Stop. And we will see details, then I will turn it over so we can 
see more of the turning and all the parts. I will lift it up. Let's see on the there on the bucket. What is this one? So this bucket it is one alloy one. So got also this back door can be open. Also got this lock. It's only lock after the bucket sit on the chassis. So coming this side, this function many people already know. After sit, this one will be pressed. After pressing this bucket, the back door is locked like this. When lift up, it's released. Okay, let's see on there. So under the bucket, we got this turbo here. It is connected with three wires, connecting to three axles. That's for the differential lock. And here we got the cylinder for lift up. This is uh, the frame with this connecting pin, so can turn it and adjusting the angle for lifting. Here, one, this inlet got two, so the motor is only one direction turning. It is controlled by directional valve to adjust, to change the oil going inside or outside. That means lift up or let down the bucket. So in this box, we see we got the pump, the motor here. That's the pump and motor. It is a brushless motor. So, okay, this is a plastic box. And so, from the directional valve, if you see from here, you will see inside this box, this cannot open, sorry, so only have to take out the screw. The directional valve is there, it's only one channel, so only one directional valve, one servo. So here is the tank. Top is the return line. On the bottom, got suction to the pump, and then the pump go to the cylinder. Okay, so this is the main girder, and here for sitting the bucket for, to lock it in place. Okay, let's open the cabin to see under there. So this one is the CVD drive shaft, and in the middle there you see got a transfer case. Later we will see from downside. Here's the transmission box and uh, we got one servo down there for changing gear. We can also see that later. So here is the battery chamber and inside there we got the sound and light board there. One speaker on the top, on the back side of this cabin inside is sticking there. So here is the receiver, uh, not easy to see. This cabin can only lift up like this. So we know. The speaker, the light sound board is inside there. Lock it. Let's get a look of the side. So we got three axles and all powered. So got six full driver. This mud guard, stainless steel. Uh huh. This that's said after testing this boot already. We need to tighten the boot. <laughs> already missing some boot for this mud guard. Okay, the forward, this material for the cabin, it is all plastic. So the chest is for metal. Let's see the light and the cabin, the sign. Here even got this plate numbers. This bumper, it is also plastic, not metal. Let's see this left side. So the mirror, the horn, cabin door cannot open. Here got this urine box. This is a plastic box inside the distribution well or your tank. And mud guard axle for the back side. We will see the back side, rear side of the bucket. And yeah, we're missing this one. This leather stainless also, stainless steel. Got one spare tire with hub. So from this, when I'm knocking, you will see this plate is thick and strong. So this car is a little bit heavy. Let's see the back side of this car. Now it is upset, it is locked, cannot open. So this bumper we see here, and got this tooling point. Can put some hook there for tooling. That's the lights. Let's, let's see if lights still working, I'll test. Yeah, it's working. Okay, so this bumper already, after running too much, already pants or pants or 
scratched. Scratched. Yeah. It's need to repair. Anyway, this is only a sample one. So now we will turn it over. We already see all the details. We can see the chassis. Because I, I cannot just lift it like this to show you not seen clearly. Also, after lift up, you see the suspension and the axle dropping. We are touching the middle, the tire, touching the middle connections, so cannot turn. So I just turn it over to show you. This one, the oil tank is sealed, not have venting. So after lift up, no oil leaking from the tank, it's okay. Okay, let's see it. So here we got, I will light up, you can see clearly. So this is the front axle, connecting road for steering, the rock arm. This is the differential lock wire. So here, let's steering it to see. Turning, the servo is here. Turning rock arm, connecting road. So downside, we also see the wires and this is this receiver light board under there. Also, this side, left side, got this switch power. This is there. Okay, from here we are, we will see the servo for changing the speed gear to speed. This is the transmission gearbox, the motor. This motor is brushed or unbrushed. Let me see. This is for the pump. The pump is a brushless motor, but the driver motor not sure to see. Looks like have three wire. Uh, not 100% sure. Yeah, this is the boot for the mud, mud guard. This screw mud guard that I will put. <laughs> Okay, so this after transmission gearbox coming to this middle transfer case after and uh, transfer to the front axle and uh, to the rear axle. Rear two axles, so this one, you see, it's all should be CNC cut, yeah? Yeah, this axle is CNC cut metal. Okay, so this middle the rear through axle also got this transfer to transfer to the, the rear axle. And uh, here we see the connecting road for suspension, for turning. So there is the metal spring plate for acting like a spring. From this side you will see the angle if jumping on the road. Okay, so and under there we also see the connecting the ax this axle, the V type connecting road, connecting the axle to the beam, this beam from the girder. So sound already start, we are just a little decrease, increase, uh, maybe that's the most loud one. Okay, decrease so we can hear talking. Just like this, should be okay. So, when changing to backward, need to break, first break, then, then can change. Okay, so now it is backward, let's start. Turning, steering, and let's slow down to see, a little break, slow down. A little more slow down, yeah. That's the backward, total stop, okay stop, already grab, so change, now can change forward, you hear it, then go forward, start it, fast, let in. a little break, slow down, a little more break, slow down, slow down again, more slow, uh, almost already stopped. Let's start a little bit. Slow down a little. Uh, already slow down. Stop. Okay, so 
and for the, the gear, now it is at low speed gear, you change it, it's not moving. So, because it got setting from the throttle, only when the throttle go forward or backward, start to changing, start to turning the wheels, the gear for the servo to change speed gear can, can move, can be switched on. So, it's like this. Like this, you will be able to switch. Yeah, it's moving. Now change the gear. Come to this angle, you will see. I will move it back. Now it's not moving. This is the servo down there. You see, now it's moving. Now change it to low speed gear, high speed gear. Yeah, resistance. So, brake to stop it. If I Let's see again, now it is stopped. If I change the gear, it's not moving. Servo will not move. If I at high speed, it will not move also. Only at the beginning to start turning, you will be able to change the gear. Yeah, slow down, now it's changing. Okay, so that's how to change gear. Now it's low speed, let's see the speed. Stop and start to move. Too fast. Change to high speed. Okay, already moved. You keep at high speed position and you start to a little bit to move. Also, we are changed to high speed gear. Let's see how speed, how much turning. Oh, it's very fast. So for high speed, full speed, you will need a big yard to run it. Let's change back to low speed. Not moving. Slowly start, we are start the servo for turning. Yeah, already changed to low speed gear. Yeah, that's, that's how to change the gear. So now it is at the differential. You see the, the wheels, only one side turning. Now this axle got more resistance, you have to hold it. Because the gear inside maybe need the lubrication. That's the, okay, and uh, we will break. You will see the differential lock, I will lock it. So now it is all locked. Unlock, lock. Let's turn it again. Stop. No, cannot stop it. It's turning together. No matter which wheel, which side. It's touching this one because that's because lift up too much. Also forward, it's all locked. So all the axle, all wheels turn at the same time to pass obstacles. Okay, slow down. A little break. Slow down. Now slow and the brake stop. So that's the chassis and the changing how to change gear. How the differential lock? That's all for this. So we will turn it over. Much. That's all for this K3364. It's a totally new version you haven't seen on the market. This is only a sample from factory carbonate. So later we will get brand new one. This is a sample already tested and uh, some uh, painting off and many dirt, some screws off because testing long time outdoors. So later we will get a brand new one and uh, now you can come to us for the best price, best offer and sure the first to get uh, it in hand and uh, send to you. Thank you very much. This is Oliver from Super Hobby. We will see each other again. Bye bye.